when you see me in the fucking projects, it's because I'm from the projects. I am not 1090 Jake. Y'all rocking with me and I'm rocking with... Get the fuck out of here, Santa Claus. Y'all did enough to our people. How is it snitching when the nigga that killed them went to jail? He did his time. He came home from jail. Snitching what? He's convicted already. First of all, second of all, that's not going to work for me. Because I don't give a fuck about y'all snitching rules and your snitching policies. That shit don't work for me. I'm a fucking civilian. I don't tell on niggas, but if I tell on you, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about what you niggas think. I got molested and y'all called me gay. Nigga, I will pull my Woody Woodpecker out and piss on your mother. Once the community told me that it was funny when I got molested, I don't give a fuck about none of you niggas. None of you. Y'all laughed at my pain when I got molested. They called me gay and shamed me. You think I give a fuck about what you feel about me? <laughs> Take the what and leave the... Nigga, fuck you. Snitch? You better take that over there to the drug dealer section of YouTube. You better take that over to the gangbanger section. The faggot ass niggas talking about I was in Sing Sing Attica. El take that over there to the dirty section of YouTube with them dumb ass jail niggas coming home telling their jail stories because they ain't got nothing else to talk about. I've been in jail for years with some of the best of the best. And I'm about to give y'all some of my jail stories. But notice it's been years before I gave you my jail stories. But I'm not going to just tell you my jail stories. I got niggas coming home from jail that was in jail with me. That's going to tell the stories of what they experienced with me. I won't even tell my own story. Nobody give a fuck about you jail niggas. Nobody give a fuck about you niggas calling somebody a rat. You niggas can't even buy a box of pampers for your motherfucking kids. And you want to call somebody a rat. Who gives a fuck? You niggas need to be told on. Y'all need to go to jail. Clean it. Lock them up. Go to jail. Y'all niggas need to go to jail. So y'all can fight. Go ahead and fight over them sneakers. Niggas in the bullpen. I remember nigga tried to try me. Nigga tried to try me for my belt. Nigga tried to take my belt. In the bullpens. Nigga tried to take my belt. Take the what? He wanted my belt. Yo, let me get that belt. Like, what? Take the what? At least you want my belt? Want my belt, homie? You want my belt? <laughs> Bet you ain't get my belt or my watch. Or my belt. Nigga, is you stupid as you stupid as you stupid? You was stupid. Fuck out of here. I was in jail with some of the best of the best of the best. Shout out to Lucky Dawn. Raw man. That's the nigga that made, that's one of the niggas that got made, that hold Mano down and hold me down. See, we got connections. Shout out to Littles from Queensbridge. I was, yeah, oh word. Me and Littles from Queensbridge was in the same house. Two up in Mar too. Shout out to Littles from Queensbridge. Shout out to Mel Murder. That whole French Montana down. Right. I'm, yeah, yeah, I've been around some niggas. Shout out to Juju. Oh, my nigga home. Oh, you right. Y'all ain't really got a taste of Juju yet, right? Oh, y'all know Juju yet, right? It's coming. I can keep old. Oh, that's right. They told you that Haas wasn't in jail. But all these legendary niggas that was in jail... I was in jail with them, and they speaking up, but they still trying to make you believe that Haas wasn't in jail, right? Because my strength and my aura is so strong, they got to water my shit down. And to you faggot ass niggas that be whispering, right? Some of the illest of the illest niggas that was in the streets in the 90 called me for their beef. It's too many niggas. I ain't got to call their names. Some of the illest niggas in the streets was calling me for their beef in the 90s. Now, keep in mind, when I went to jail, I was 18 years old in the 90s. I was 18. So before me being 18, 
when my brain started flipping and all them bodies was dropping all over the place. Yeah. Right. Right. Let's leave it as that. <laughs>